I'm going to show you how to build a, a custom gang frame cabinet in Cabinet Solutions. The term, the term gang frame is uh, probably a slang term. Uh, the type of cabinet that I'm, uh, I'm building, that I'm trying to describe, is a uh, uh, oh, like instead of building a cabinet that's three individual boxes, it would be uh, three sections of a, a combined cabinet instead of three individual boxes. Uh, so let me get into it here. Okay, I'm just going to start with a, a blank floor plan uh, and I'm going to draw a hundred inch wall and I'm going to go to place cabinets, take a standard base and make it 70 inches wide. place it. Uh, then I'm going to click the cabinet, go to elevation for that cabinet. Click the cabinet again to the go, to go to the customized cabinet view. And then I'm going to go to center uh, center style. And I can, uh, it asks me here if I want to place a partition behind the center style. Yes, I do. I can go with this default two and a quarter inch center style size, which came from my standards, or I can change it at this point. And the location of the partition can be flush left, centered, flush right, or double flush where you have two panels behind each uh, center style that you add to the cabinet. And uh, if I go to properties here, I can define if the partition splits the bottom, top, stretcher, nailer, and back of the cabinet. And I can dado uh, the bottom, top, stretcher, nailer, back into the partition. If I check the box, one of these boxes, I can define the dado depth. I can also change the material that the partition is made out of from this drop down list here. You can add and remove materials from the library uh, very easily. So I'm going to accept the default settings there and continue. And uh, this opening 1 and 2 represents the opening at the top of the cabinet which is just one huge drawer and the bottom opening which is uh, uh, double, drawer, double doors and one opening. Each time I click an opening, it's going to split it with a center style. I'm going to click twice, and then done. Now I'm going to adjust that first opening, uh, that first section of this cabinet first. So I'm going to go to Openings and Rollouts, click Opening Number Two, Edit, and I'm going to change the width to six inches, and I'm going to change the type to drawer. Done. Now I've got uh, a, a normal sized top drawer and then a huge bottom drawer. I'm going to add center rails to fix that. So center rail, again I can go with the default si size for my standards or change it. I'll just continue. Each time I click the opening, number two, it's going to split it. There, now I have uh, four drawers there. That's better. Done. I'm going to go to openings and rollouts and I'm going to go to opening number five, edit, and I'm going to change that to uh, uh, sink top and make it 33 inches wide. And I'm going to have it move the right side of this opening so I'm not messing with the drawer uh, openings on the left that I've already set at six inches. Done. Uh, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to make some changes to that final opening. Opening number eight. Edit. Or don't know, I'm going to cancel that. I'll go to uh, shelves. Opening number eight and I'll change it to zero fixed shelves and uh, actually one fixed shelf and one adjustable. If I go to adjust shelves you have the ability to put the specify the exact location of the fixed shelf and uh, specify whether it's dadoed in to the sides of the the opening or not, and if so, how how deep. 
All right, so this cabinet, uh, let's take a look at it in 3D. It's got the sink top, it's got the drawer bank on the left, and it's got the standard base on the right, but it's all one cabinet. And uh, that is how you do a gang frame cabinet in Cabinet Solutions. Thank you.